Feels like election season never ends. We have some key races from Tuesday's primary that are heading now to runoff. Part two, Georgia history shows that's often good news for the second place finisher. Doug Richards with the Love and the Life political team live for us tonight in DeKalb County. And Doug, we know that there is a big runoff in June and these runoffs have some history with it. They sure do. Uh, here in DeKalb County, the race for CEO will be on the ballot. And one of the things that we'll be looking for is whether the second place finisher from Tuesday night can potentially leapfrog the first place finisher when voters return to the polls next month. Y'all have the power to make all of this happen. U.S. Senator John Ossoff embodies both the joy and heartache of Georgia's runoff system. In 2017, Ossoff came achingly close to winning a special election for Congress. He nearly received a majority of the vote against 17 opponents. But because he didn't get 50% plus one of the vote, Ossoff faced a runoff against former Secretary of State Karen Handel, who finished a distant second. Yet a month later, Handel flipped the vote and beat Ossoff. Three years later, Ossoff took on incumbent Republican U.S. Senator David Perdue. Perdue came within a few thousand votes of winning 50 percent plus one. But he faced Ossoff again in a runoff, and Perdue lost the Senate seat. Second place finishers are often formidable in runoffs, says Democratic strategist Theron Johnson. Historically, what we've seen is that the second place finisher, that person usually is able to gather up a lot of momentum, particularly if it's an incumbent running who they've been forced to run off. And it's a cautionary tale for Lorraine Cochran Johnson, the top vote getter facing a runoff in the DeKalb CEO race against Larry Johnson. Or for Clayton County Sheriff, where the challenger, Commission Chairman Jeff Turner, faces incumbent LeVon Allen after Allen finished 200 votes short of winning outright. Or the 3rd Congressional District, where Brian Jack nearly doubled the vote of Mike Dugan, but now they face off in a runoff. Johnson says all runoff candidates will be sweating next month. And so no matter the place of sort of you where you finish, it's how quickly can you get your money raised, get your team to focus on getting voters who did not vote for you back out, and you got to turn back out your base. All right, Doug, so we know voter turnout is likely to drop. Does that affect the runoffs here and how so? Yeah, it certainly, well, history says that it will drop. I mean, you, all you got to do is look at the 2020, 2021 runoff between Ossoff and Purdue. Um, that was a huge high profile race, a national race, and a half million fewer people in Georgia voted in that race uh, when Ossoff, in fact, did leapfrog Purdue uh, from second place. All right, Doug Richards live for us tonight. Thank you so much, Doug.